good morning everybody and hello from my bedroom um i figured i would just like give an update on everything that's been going on and just how everything's been um i think the last i posted was just what was it like moving to a new city starting a new job and just trying to explore where I was at and it's it's been really good I really love my job it is a really hard job to do some days um, and it's a job that sometimes I think is underappreciated but it's extremely rewarding to know like some of these people to put a smile on their face like they're the ones that you see every day and they see you every day you kind of almost become friends with them i've lost a lot of people in the hospital that i've like grown connections with and that's probably kind of the hardest thing about my job because it's like you're not i mean i know we're not there to really make friends we're there to take care of them make them feel better but it's so hard not to and i'm an empath so i naturally just like connect with people um but i really like my job it gets really crazy <laughs> um i have been assaulted at work some people get a little bit a lot of bit angry and so i've had stuff thrown at me i've had people spit on me i've literally anything people actually hit um and so it's hard not to take things personal at the hospital because people are so they can be you see the worst in people but I also remember nobody really wants to be at the hospital nobody you know chooses I mean I would hope nobody chooses to be mean on purpose but I know it's not easy for everybody and it's I mean, I remember when I was in the hospital, I did not like it. I hated that I was codependent on so many people just to do anything, to use the restroom, to use, you know, to get food if I wanted to get up and go on a walk. Like, I needed people for that. And so I get how these people feel, which is, I think, why I'm more um, empathetic towards everybody and understanding. Because I remember being in that spot. I did not enjoy not being able to do anything for myself and having to rely on people but i also appreciated that there are people who wanted to come see me i had max that came and saw me and now i'm friends with some of the people who took care of me and i work with them side by side every day and i love it um you know it's just nice to see just how much of a healing journey that can be you know they saw me at my worst and now they see me at my best helping take care of other people which is nice um but yeah i really like my job I, I like where i live it's really it's just more i feel like there's just more to do it's a bigger area um however i hate i hate winter and we've had so much snow it's like a sheet of ice in our driveway like it is unbelievable like it's ice skating you step outside and you're practically ice skating going out there which is a uh, not great um and whatnot uh but i'm hoping i'm really really hoping we are done getting snow because i am ready for summer and spring hot you know spending nights outside all day long and just enjoying you know ice cream and being outside and going on hikes and just spending time with the kids and just being outside instead of like stuck indoors is gonna be a great feeling um but oh sorry i'm bad breath um that brings me to the only downfall that's happened in the last several months is i've been pretty sick again i have some health things that we're still trying to figure out answers for and whatnot and then over top of these health things i finally caught covid um or actually my entire household caught covid and it has kicked our butts a few days ago i tested positive for covid and it's been really hard covid is no joke um it's hard to
to like I think how I first knew was uh, when I started eating they just tasted like titties like that feeling like I just have like blood fire taste so that was a like, great and then I couldn't taste their smell after that that's how anyone had it um, and it's just been awful ever since then congestion, a fat sore throat, a killer headache that has not gone away, and yeah, just, I feel like I was hit by a bus, like I'm so weak, and our entire household has it that I stay with, so it's unfortunate, and I'm ready for it to be over, we're only on like day two. Like the children only had it for like 24 hours, maybe 48 hours, and then they bounced back. But us adults didn't knock us on our butt. Um, I knew it because I lost my taste and smell, and I'm the only one in the house who's lost their taste and smell. And I think we spent the first like week just in bed. Um, and COVID's no joke. Like it, I, at first it was like it just kind of happened like so fast. Like everything kind of tasted like chemicals like I really felt like I was putting ammonia in my mouth um and then the next day like it was gone um I mean and we got like the congestion the sore throat um and a uh, headache like no other and we I was so so weak um that just I mean it hurt my body to stand up and not want to feel like I want to pass out um I just and then I have asthma so breathing made it uh, so much harder um, and to keep my oxygen's kind of been whoosh, whoosh, everywhere so it's been a little scary in that sense and just knowing that COVID really like I'm just tired it didn't matter there were days that we slept like 16 17 hours and we were so tired and we still are so I don't know if it's a side effect where I'm like weak three of having COVID and we're just now finally starting to get like energy back and whatnot and feel like we do stuff we're still tired and we still have like coughs and congestion problems but I think the biggest one is I'm, I still feel so like winded like going down the stairs walking out to my car like I feel like I've just like ran a marathon which is really bad because I didn't um, and so I'm hoping that's not like a long term thing. Um, but I know I've, uh, my doctor said like being tired is a post COVID thing. Um, but it took forever to test negative. And for our work, you have to have a negative test in order to come back. And I tested positive, not on the like PCR test, I think is what it's called, but the rapid test. And so that wasn't great. Um, but it took a long time and it was not fun. I still don't have my taste and smell, so if anyone has suggestions of how to get it back, send it my way because if anyone knows me, everyone knows that I love to smell things and I rely on my nose. And so it's been really hard to like eat because nothing sounds good and nothing tastes. It's almost like to the point where like I'm forgetting what things tasted like and it makes you realize just how much we take eating and drinking for granted um but yeah it, I just now I just eat everything that I don't like because it's not like I can taste it so like one thing I don't like is cilantro because cilantro to me tastes like soap um and everyone in the house loves cilantro but me and so I'm like fine I guess like I'll eat it because I can't taste it so why not um but yeah, I'm ready to get my, like, taste or smell back. But uh, everyone tells me that when you do get it, it's really never the same. And that makes me a little bit nervous. But I'm just happy and finally now, you know, to a point where things are looking up. And I'm hoping I get full energy again. But that on top of, I have, like, another health thing going on and so it's making it it made COVID like a really hard on my body um, but I'm just hoping we get answers for everything um, 
because that hasn't been fun. Um, but I'm trying to stay hopeful and positive and really look forward to kind of like the summer. Um, because I have, I'm planning a vacation. I don't know where quite yet, but I, I deserve a vacation and need a vacation. So I'm trying to figure out where to go. Um, if we can go, like there are still things, places that don't let you travel yet. Um, but yeah, overall, like things are kind of like this. This year did not start how I wanted it to, but I'm trying to stay positive and hopeful and I just pray that <laughs> this year does get better. Um, and yeah, this year for me, I don't really make New Year's resolutions, <laughs> um, but I make like miniature goals and like words that I want to live by. But I'm truly just working on me. Ever since my little accident last year, I'm truly just, uh, I just, I want to work on me, like get my health under control, just figure out my place in this world. And I feel like I'm finally finding it. And to be honest, it's the happiest I've been in a long time. Um, given everything, I'm I'm happy. I think I finally truly found what I meant to do to take care of other people and just it's just like a good community of people around me and I live with my friend and it's amazing to have her. To, she's helped me a ton, especially with all my health stuff. I've got, I mean, she's helped me a lot and I don't know how I could ever thank her for it, but I'm grateful for her and everybody else who still like checks in on me and my friends and family that just, I don't know, that are there. I appreciate it all. Um, but really besides just like working on myself, I'm just trying to just be the best person that I can be and not let the little things bother me um, given the fact that my last year with my accent stuff it just meant because I had too much like anxiety and trauma that it just like my body finally shut down I'm trying to make sure that I stay on top of my mindfulness and that I keep I mean I still see doctors I still see my therapist psychologist all that um, and I'm just learning to take time for me, to say no to people, to set boundaries, to feel okay with like splurging on myself and knowing when enough is enough. Um, but sometimes it's hard not to overwork yourself, especially where I work because we're super short staff and so we need so much help and so it's easy to get run down right now, but I'm just trying to take care and myself and find things that make me happy and release the stress I have. So yeah, I'm hoping for the rest of the year we do get some better luck and I hope COVID goes away, but we say that every year for like what, like the last two years now and COVID's still here. So that's unfortunate, but yeah, um, everything is finally starting to fall into place and I really like that so uh, yeah I hope everyone has a good rest of their week and that everyone is doing well and hope you enjoyed this video like share and subscribe and I'll catch y'all next time